Hey guys, did you know that Canon has an EOS webcam utility in beta that may allow you to use your DSLR camera like this as a webcam? Now it is still in beta and there are some bugs. I'm going to show you how to do some simple troubleshooting. My name is James and I'm going to show you how to set up your DSLR camera. But first let's go to the Canon website and see if your camera is compatible. This is the regular EOS utility. So this is not the correct one. You're going to have to go to the webcam. There is a difference between the regular EOS utility and the webcam EOS utility. Don't get those mixed up. The EOS utility is the main app that you use to transfer your videos from your DSLR to the laptop or computer. It also has a live view feature. If you are trying to use your DSLR as a webcam camera, it is called the EOS webcam utility and it is in beta. <laughs> so you're going to scroll down and see if your model is actually compatible. And then you are going to click on your DSLR model. I have an EOS 6D Mark II. I'm going to click on that. And again, it gives you a list of software available. The EOS utility is not the one that you want. The EOS webcam utility is the one that you want. So you're going to go here, select it, click on the download. Once you downloaded it, you're going to install it. Once you've installed it, you're going to use your OBS or Streamlabs, whatever application you use to do your live stream. Click on this uh, add button. And then you are going to click on the video capture device. And you're going to add a new device. I'm just going to name it EOS Canon Mark II. Click on OK. Click on the EOS webcam utility. And then you can configure the video. Actually, this is still in beta, so many of the features may or may not work. I find this webcam utility to be a little buggy. And then we're going to go to custom. And we're going to go to the resolution. This is actually the highest resolution, the 1024 by 576. And this is due to, it is not using the HDMI cable. It is actually using the USB to the micro USB cable. So this is my T4 that it is not listed for the webcam. It is my spare camera. However, I am using my Mark II to record this video. So I am using this as a prop. And since they are the same, as you can see, there is an input and output for the uh, digital. This is a micro USB and this is the HDMI out. You are going to use the regular micro USB to USB that you use on your EOS utility. So you are not using the actual mini HDMI out. This is a micro USB to the USB connection that you use to transfer your videos to your computer. And if you do decide to use um, your DSLR camera, hopefully you'll be getting a dummy battery because the batteries on these will run out fast before you are able to finish your stream. Then you can change your frames per second. You can do I-420, 709, color range, full, Anyway, these settings are basically standard. Um, just go ahead and look through them and then you can change them to whatever suits your needs. You can do an enable, direct sound or wave output. Click on OK. And as you can see right here, we have the webcam logo. However, it does not have a stream that's being fed to the actual OBS from the camera and this is one of the main issues that many people have been having and I'm just going to show you how to solve that and this is because you already have the EOS utility installed I'm not talking about the EOS webcam utility I'm talking about the regular EOS utility where you transfer your files from the camera to the 
computer. So you want to go to your main display and you want to ch check out the little tray icon right here, the up arrow. And then on the up arrow, you're going to see that there is this EOS utility running in the background. And you want to go ahead and quit that application. You see, this is a start EOS utility automatically when the camera is connected. Even if you have do not launch EOS utility selected, uh, it's going to be running in the background and there is going to be some complications. So you want to disable it. Once you disable it, as you can see, the feed automatically came in. So that is one of the main issues people have been having. That is the issue that I was having that I was able to go through and solve. You can go here to your search icon and you can just type in the startup apps. Go here. Go to the EOS utility and turn that off. And each time you start your computer, the EOS utility will be disabled. The way that I really like to use OBS or the streaming software is if your computer does have enough resources and enough power, just go to the EOS utility, go to the remote shooting, do a live shoot. And then this is the window. We'll go here, the window, we'll click on the add button. And then we will do a window capture. We'll add the device and then use the EOS utility. Click on OK. There we go. We have a feed from the camera to the OBS studio. So let me just close this out. Then what you can do is just press the alt button and just crop your window. Like that and then just move it to the bottom of the screen if this is if you want like one of those small scale talking heads on the bottom left corner not only that because you are using the regular EOS utility with the live feature you can actually record on your DSLR camera while it, you're actually streaming so you have an actual recording that's going on your SD card as far as the webcam utility is concerned, you will not be able to record on your DSLR camera while using that feature. Uh, maybe they'll change that in the future, but as for now, I find that the EOS webcam utility is very buggy. Not only that, there aren't many features or many settings that you can change with the EOS utility. You can just change your settings, aperture, all that over here. Of course, you have to stop the recording, but you can also do like a five times zoom if you need to. Things like that. If you need to do any type of rotation. Right now, I have my autofocus set on manual, but if I turn it on, these buttons will light up where you can just control a lot more of your features. Or settings and that is the one thing that I do like about using the EOS utility so a lot of the settings can be changed with the regular EOS utility as long as your computer has enough CPU enough RAM enough resources to be able to handle the load before you use the EOS utility or the webcam EOS utility you have to make sure your DSLR is in video mode now for my T4, my video mode is on top right here where the dial is. While on my Mark II, the video mode is on a back switch right here. For each model, it's gonna be different. So make sure that your camera is on video mode. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.